Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Roll Ghost Tycoon 2. Now, some people have asked me uh, how to get uh, block break sections working on a triple launch coaster. Uh, I will just quickly make a triple launch coaster design now and then uh, you'll see what I mean. Alright, this is a very silly uh, track layout, but uh, it will be a triple launch coaster, a very simple one. Uh, but yeah, this one's just for explanation. Now, to finish this track, uh, to make it a triple launch coaster, uh, I put some uh, weak boosters here, and then here on the backwards section, I'll put some stronger boosters, like this. And here I'll make a spike, normally I would make a vertical spike or a half loop. But uh, to keep it simple here, I will just use this uh, just normal Giga Coaster track. All right, let's make an entrance and an exit. And if we test the coaster now, uh, we can we see it can have two trains. And uh, let's give them a different color. We test the now the track now. You can see uh, the front car moves right here into the block brakes. Uh, it stops here because the track is not clear. The second car moves into the station, and right now the train is stuck here uh, forever, which is a very long time. Now, um, yeah, this is the problem that uh, that uh, most uh, users reported. There are ways around this. Um, for example, you could use uh, continuous circuit mode. That's what I typically use just to keep it simple. And then just time the trains uh, with the minimum waiting time to make sure that they cannot crash into each other. But of course, block sectioned uh, mode is always nicer to have. Um, so yeah, in order to make it work, uh, we will have to remove this part of the track. So right now we have a continuous circuit which has all the block sections on it. Uh, this is important to have in the end. So, so if you have a more complicated track, uh, you just have to make sure that all the block sections are on your continuous circuit. And what we'll do now is uh, we'll add another track. So this is a new uh, ride. And let's make it boosters. We'll make strong boosters here. 144 kilometers per hour. That should be nice. And we'll build backwards here. Just like we did previously. And what we'll have to do here at this point is we'll have to merge the track. Now this will be easier if you just use a normal straight track. But I will just merge into these boosters here. I will put them at the same speed as the other boosters. And if I build this one here now you can see uh, it stops building. Which indicates to you that the merge has succeeded. Now, this merge uh, won't work uh, right now as it is. There's still one issue with it. That's because uh, a merge typically only works in one direction. So, um, what we'll want to do then is uh, make sure that the merge uh, actually works when it's going backwards and when it's going forwards. So, when it's going backwards, we want it to end up on the red track. And when it goes forwards, we'll want it to end up on the yellow track. So, um, what we'll have to make sure of then here is that the, the track you want to go to always has to be on the bottom in the tile order, in tile inspector. So, I'll just select this piece here. And I'll disable the rain. <laughs> Unrelated to the tutorial, but uh, still. So, we select this track piece here. The bottom track piece here. And I cannot tell if it's the red or the or the yellow one, so I will just lift the bottom piece up, like this. You can see the bottom piece here is the yellow track. So um, I select the, the other track and just move it down. So if I now select the bottom track, you can see it's the red one. Okay, um, then I'll take this uh, red track piece. And I also paste it here. 
this is the second half of our merge and here we'll want the train to go to the yellow track so the yellow track piece here has to be on the bottom and you can see we have the bottom track piece selected if we change the height now you can see that it's the yellow track piece that's here on the bottom all right now if we have uh, i don't know what <laughs> Wait, what happened here? Oh wait, this is the second Giga Coaster. Yeah, so we select the Giga Coaster with the entrance. You can see it's a continuous circuit block section mode, three block sections. We have two trains, and if we test the ride now, it should uh, work as intended. Okay, it stops here now at the block break. The other train uh, it enters the station. This train continues now. The, this train will go into the block section here. You can see it doesn't make it up the hill. Then it goes backwards here. And here are the strong boosters that should give it enough speed to make it over the hill. And the train uh, goes back here into the over the block brakes into the station. And this train then continues on. And this will keep uh, going on like this. Now, just to show that this uh, works, uh, I will disable all breakdowns and then just uh, run it uh, at super high speed. You can see the days uh, passing by really quickly. And yeah, this, uh, this is very consistent. It will just keep uh, working like this. So yeah, if you want uh, block breaks on your triple launch coaster, uh, this is the way to do it. Alright, let me know if this tutorial uh, works for you, and uh, yeah, I hope the tutorial is useful for you, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!